Okay, glare shield. Uh, here's the glare shield that I've had fabricated. Uh, once again, the actual uh, each of the side frames is six millimeter MBF, and that's been obviously modelled by Fusion 360 and then cut uh, with the CNC um, little shop that I use around the corner from me. And I'm pretty sure they were um, uh, half inch dowels. Uh, it's a 12.7 millimeter dowel metric uh, with a 13 mil hole uh, and they fit in quite snugly and that glare shield is about 200 and i think from memory i've got it at about 215 from side to side um, so i yet to cover it uh, so i've got to work on the covering and so on but just to show you i'll show you in the next quick video how that looks uh, but yeah glare shield coming up quite nicely here's the glare shield uh, mounted on the top there and that just drops on so that literally uh, the intention is not to bolt that that's just a dropped on piece uh, and again I think once it's covered up and so on it'll look pretty good certainly uh, from the inside um, so yeah so she's starting to come up pretty well ignore that right yoke there I know it's not off center before you guys start whinging about it um, I'll fix that up later on I'll also take the time just to show you some of the cladding that's coming up at the moment. So I've got the window windows starting to come through. Uh, again, um, I've taken these in uh, 6mm MDF and had the CNC machinist cut them. Now you could again cut these by yourself, but I, I just got such a nice neat cut with the CNC. So again, worth the, probably worth a bit of spend there. And then I'll just do another panel down there to sort of fully panel it all in. Um, just coming onto the left side of the frame, so again you've got the inside one um, and I've got two down there, uh, which, excuse me, which I'll use. So I'll have them on the outside as well and I apologise I'm using the camera at the same time, but if you can kind of get an idea what's going to happen here is you're going to end up with, a, with something like that. Uh, and I'll end up putting some sort of capping or something or rebate around that which I think will end up looking quite nice once it's all finished uh, Yeah, so I'll show you that once it's all done uh, But look that's a bit of an update. It's coming along. It's all structural at the moment. Uh, it probably looks worse than it actually is but uh, no, I'm pretty happy with it um, I'm sure I'll have lots more challenges over time, but yeah coming up. Okay uh, seats is going to be interesting but that'll be another episode okay take care and talk to you soon uh, just a bit of an update on the glare shield um, just for the construction of this what's happening at the moment so as you would have seen the frame from before and what I'm going to do is is just literally this is like a thick uh, cardboard that I've bought from uh, a local office store here in Australia and it's just like a like a card Pretty fairly thick but bendable. Uh, use that as the as a bit of a frame base. So around those dowels, as we talked about before, I'm going to just I've just cover that and glued that down with wood glue, and I'll make some layers of that uh, so that it ends up being flush with the top of this. Uh, and then once that's done on both sides, I'll then be able to cover that with a nice cover and perhaps a little bit of foam, uh, and then get that covered. Um, I've left this piece open here because obviously I'd like to mount a compass unit here um, and uh, this is ready for a pre-drill there underneath. You can't see it but obviously underneath I'll keep that open so you can get to it. Um, so yeah, uh, hopefully it'll all come up okay once it's finished. It's looking relatively good. Um, so yeah, fairly comfortable where that glare shield's heading at the moment. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Okay, thank you. Okay, glare shield is prepped up now. Uh, as you can see, I've got the layers of cardboard that I've laid onto this, uh, ready for upholstery. Um, so yeah, so that should come up okay. Pre-cut holes in here for the uh, directional compass. Um, yeah, I'll give you a posting next time. So. That's how I've done it, uh, you know, it's said MDF frames with some dowels that we talked about before and then you know, a very simple card covered just with some wood glue uh, just to give it that, that shape, uh, which I've also done on the underside, which I'll show you in a moment, uh, just bear with me.
Uh, just under here um, is the same thing again through through here. So um, the upholstery will come you know, underneath and then it'll kick back into the gap through here. So hopefully it all turns out okay once it's all done. And obviously that's a little bit too far back at the moment. It should sit further forward. Okay, thanks for that. Okay, good morning, and there it is, glare shield. Uh, now with the upholstered, um, you know, a bit of foam underneath there, and then upholstered with some uh, vinyl. A uh, big shout out to my father-in-law who did this job for me, and he's done a fantastic job. Um, so you know, having an ex-upholsterer in the family has been quite beneficial. But as you can see, I think you'll agree it looks pretty good. Um, so yeah, so that's come up really nicely. Uh, and it literally just, you know, as I said, it just, just pops on uh, to it. But look, I think it's finished the glare shield off quite nicely. So uh, positioning at the back there for the uh, compass uh, when I get that. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, looking good. So now I'm in the process really, uh, now that it's all structurally built, um, what I'll be doing from here on out is getting some trimming and other bits and pieces. So I'll be slowly disassembling this now, reassembling it in its final location uh, in, a, in a spare room upstairs.